you often use public transport? Well, if you're in Dubai, you are already familiar with their buses, water buses, monorail systems, tram, and the Dubai Metro. And the train is one of the most popular transport forms of transport. Guess what? Dubai has amazingly fancy trains in mind, just like the ones we see in the sci-fi movies. We're talking about the Hyperloop Dubai project. So this train in Dubai will blow your mind. Let's see. All right, usually trains are transport systems that have a series of connected vehicles that run along a track. Usually, train tracks are made of two running rails, which can also be supplemented by additional rails. And when it comes to their types, there are two main categories of how trains are built, bogies and a locomotive. Bogies are wheeled trolleys or wagons that were traditionally used to transport cargo. Bogies are the framework that carries the wheels that are attached to the train itself. Bogie train compartments can be fixed in one place or mounted to another locomotive or wagon. Most bogies are made with two axles since this is the simplest design, but the design needs to be customized for heavier loads and cargo. Historically, trains used to be gravity powered or hauled by horses and ropes. In the 19th century, the steam locomotive was invented and replaced with electric or diesel versions. They became popular since they required less labor. However, they were more expensive and complex. These trains became the most popular medium for the transportation of passengers. When it comes to the purpose of the train, it can sometimes vary. Like we know long distance trains that are built for travels between different cities or a region of a country. They even cross through several countries at the same time. They usually have a restaurant or dining car so that passengers can have a pleasant meal during their journey. Trains that travel overnight also have sleeping cars so that passengers can rest during their travel. Distances over 500 miles are usually reserved for air travel, but trains are a cheap and popular way to travel long distances in many countries. There are many different types of long distance trains around the world. Besides that, we have high speed rails that are built for long distance travel since they can get passengers to their destination quicker. Generally, high speed trains run at speeds over 200 kilometers an hour. Their dedicated tracks are designed to accommodate such high speeds without the risk of fire from friction. The high-speed train has reduced time and money costs. The first successful high-speed passenger railway system was Japan's Shinkansen in 1964. This train was popularly known as the bullet train. In modern times, the fastest passenger trains in the world are in the wuhan Gaozhou high-speed rail system and beijing Tianjin intercity rail. They had been known to reach speeds of 350 kilometers an hour. They are also far more environmentally friendly than airplanes. They can carry more passengers and also use less fuel. They reduce the time cost of airport boarding, check-in, takeoff, and disembarking. But today, we are talking about fancier, newer kinds of trains. You might even wonder why that thing is called a train because they can do more than what a typical train does. Hyperloop is a new form of ground transport. It could see passengers traveling at over 700 miles an hour in a floating pod that races along inside giant low-pressure tubes. There are two big differences between Hyperloop and traditional rail. First of all, the pods carrying passengers travel through tubes or tunnels from which most of the air has been removed to reduce friction. And this should allow the pods to travel at up to 750 miles per hour. Secondly, rather than using wheels like a train, the pods are designed to float on air skis using the same basic idea as an air hockey table, or use magnetic levitation to reduce friction. Supporters argue that Hyperloop could be cheaper and faster than train or car travel, and cheaper and less polluting than air travel. They claim that it's also quicker and cheaper to build than traditional high-speed rail. Hyperloop could therefore be used to take the pressure off gridlocked roads, making travel between cities easier and potentially unlocking major economic benefits as a result. And setting up the world's first commercial Hyperloop, a super high-speed transport system in the UAE is going to cost approximately 1.4 billion DH to 22 billion DH, according to a top executive. The chairman of Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, Bibop Gresta, revealed to state news agency WAM that the Hyperloop capsule that will be set up in Abu Dhabi has already left the assembly plant in Spain to the southwestern region in France. Gresta said the capsule will be assembled, tested, and optimized in the French city of Toulouse 
before it will be transported to the UAE. It was earlier announced that the supersonic train system will be constructed between Abu Dhabi and Dubai in order to considerably reduce the travel time between the two Emirates. The whole length of the link is estimated to be around 150 kilometers. This innovation, using a futuristic mode of vacuum tube-based transport, would lead to an estimated savings of $800 million in lost working hours, according to proponents. To make things easier to understand, let's recall the Concorde which was one of the world's fastest commercial passenger jets, traveling at speeds of over 2,000 kilometers per hour, more than twice the speed of sound. More recently, Japan's magnetic levitation bullet train became the world's fastest train, traveling at speeds of 600 kilometers per hour. Now there is Hyperloop, a high-speed ground travel system that is tipped to be the world's next fastest mode of transport, and cities are taking it seriously, a new project led by US-based company Hyperloop One aims to take people from Dubai to Abu Dhabi in just 12 minutes, a trip that currently takes two hours. In the future, Hyperloop One passengers would board a capsule that travels through giant tubes at 1,200 kilometers per hour. Using electric propulsion, hyperpods would seat anywhere from 6 to 100 people. Business could use meeting pods as moving conference rooms and there would even be a critical care pod to whisk patients to the hospital, according to the company. The Hyperloop system would have minimal impact on the environment, and because the vehicle floats slightly above the track, it would be able to travel faster than an airplane. We eliminate direct emission, noise, delay, weather concerns, and pilot error. It's the next mode of transportation, says the company. Travel between cities would be drastically reduced. Dubai to Abu Dhabi in 12 minutes, Dubai to Doha in 23 minutes, Dubai to Muscat in 27 minutes, and Dubai to Riyadh in 48 minutes. Several years after Elon Musk imagined the Hyperloop, two companies were vying to make it a reality between the United Arab Emirates, two most prominent cities. Virgin Hyperloop One, a Los Angeles headquartered firm, is competing with fellow Californian Hyperloop transportation technologies to link the UAE's first and third most populous cities. There are several reasons the UAE has been chosen as Hyperloop's petri dish. Dubai is home to the world's third busiest international airport, behind Atlanta and Beijing. Dubai and Abu Dhabi are both being developed as smart cities, and each aims to reduce carbon emissions by 75% by 2023. Hyperloop is the logical next step towards that goal. Hyperloop is the next logical step towards that goal, Hyperloop One's Marcia Christoph says. Musk, who made the idea open source to encourage others to develop it, wants each route to be fully solar powered, using panels along the tube that carries each pod. Tesla and SpaceX chief Elon Musk actually drew from an idea devised by British inventor George Medhurst in 1799. Saudi Arabia has also expressed a keen interest in Hyperloop as part of its Agenda 2030 plan, which aims to drastically reduce the kingdom's carbon footprint. For now, however, the UAE is firmly in the driving seat to become the world's first home for Hyperloop. In June 2018, a prototype pod was unveiled to Emirati commuters who have been promised easier car parking and minimal disruption to existing transport mediums, in addition to supersonic travel. We're going to create a seamless experience that starts the moment you think about being somewhere, not going somewhere. We don't sell cars, boats, trains, or planes. We sell time said Hyperloop One co-founder and CTO Josh Geigel recently. Here are some facts you need to know about the Hyperloop Dubai project. It's 100% electric. It's associated with the sound of just a big whoosh. The noise levels of the pods are significantly lower than other forms of transportation. This will help minimize noise pollution. The Hyperloop Dubai speed will be equivalent to airplane speed. The top speed is estimated to be 760 miles per hour which is about 1,123 kilometers per hour. Average speeds may range between 500 and 600 miles per hour. Windows are not present. However, each seat will be equipped with interactive entertainment screens. The Abu Dhabi Dubai Hyperloop capsule will feature two sections. Gold class includes seats for five passengers, while silver class will accommodate 14 commuters. The proposed location of Hyperportal, stations from where the pods will depart, is near the Burj Khalif in Dubai and Etihad Tower in Abu Dhabi. 
So the fundamental idea is to reduce pollution, road congestion, and commuter time. Residents can access job opportunities not just in one city, but across the border country too. Without the need to uproot one's home, family, and current lifestyle. Therefore, this rapid transport technology can change everyone's lives. What do you think about this amazing train? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video from us. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.